my sidekick. Look, I'm not the hero type, but I'm not the sit on the sidelines while the world goes to hell type either. If things need doing, I'll help with the doing of them. I've never had a sidekick before. It's easy. I provide the banter and commentary, and you do the stuff. What stuff? The talking and the running and the saving of the world. If a helpful hint or, you know, an inappropriate joke is needed, bam, I'm right there. Cool. Oh, oh, I know what that means. Don't tell me, don't tell me. It means great, doesn't it? So, where do we start? Well, what do you suggest, Crow? I suggest we get help. You're young and inexperienced and, let's face it, as lost as a babe in the woods, no sexism intended. Me, on the other hand, I'm usually wise to the ways of the world, but I really have no idea what's going on. So, we get help from someone who's both wiser and more clued in than either of us. Beards are a good indication. Beards? It signifies age and wisdom, and also sometimes poor personal hygiene. I think those things are actually connected. Who did you have in mind? There's a bloke that April knows. He's in the city now. He's got a beard, and he's an adult. A perfect combination. His name is Brian Westhouse. Okay, so where do we find this West House? As chance would have... Wait, no! It's probably fate. If there's one thing I've learned, when things like this happen, it's almost always fate. As fate would have it, I saw West House when I was flying here. I think he was on his way to the South Gate. If we hurry, he might still be there. Actually, Crow, I want to walk around for a bit first. That's fine. I'll spend some quality time hunting for crumbs. I think I saw a big, juicy one next to that pile of Elguan doo-doo. Hey, Crow. Find any good crumbs? Are you kidding? This place has got scraps worthy of kings! I just ate something I think might have been in the maggot family, and it was delicious! It sounds like you have some experience being a sidekick. I'm a member of the guild. No, that's not a joke. I was actually inducted into the guild of sidekicks after April and I saved the world. They gave me a badge and everything. Sidekick of the month. If only my poor old mom could have seen that. Come to think of it, all she ever saw of me was an egg. Of course, the very next month, that annoying man-child with the hairy feet and the chubby face got the badge. What did he do? Carry someone up a hill? Ha! He didn't even crack a single joke to lighten the mood. No sense of humor whatsoever. Let's go find West House. I hope you know where we're going because I have absolutely no clue. The Southgate Market, right? I know where that is. Good, because I have absolutely no clue. I know up and down, but that's it. and made-to-order charms. Using only the finest organic ingredients... Rat tails done!
of the goddess and the six, you will lay down your arms and submit to our swords. What? Search the premises. Let no one leave. What in the name of the six is going on? Spare us the theatrics, publican. We know that you shelter rebels. Rebels? Of course not. This is a peaceful and law-abiding establishment. If that is the case, you will receive an official apology and recompense from the office of the Emissary. But I'm afraid we cannot take your word for it. The cellar is clear. There's no one else in here, Apostle. I'll take the second floor myself. Do not make a move, witch. What is your name? I'll give you one last chance to save your neck, witch. You will help me find someone, or you will die. And not just you. We will send the proprietor of this tavern to Sadir to stand trial for treason. As for your friends who've just left harbor, their ship will be boarded and the supplies confiscated. Do you know how the Azadi punish smugglers? Please. Their feet and hands are bound. They are weighed down with metal. And then they are dropped into the ocean. Please, let them be. They carry only medicine and food. I have no quarrel with you or your compatriots. I seek only one person. The one my people call the Scorpion. The... Scorpion? What do you know of him? If I... If I tell you about the Scorpion, will you let us go? Ben Rime, me, the shipment? No, but if you lead me to the Scorpion, then yes, I will let you and your friends go. You'll have your food and medicine. Leave the boat be, Azadi. Please, there are no weapons aboard. It poses no harm to your people. It's in your hands now. Very well. I will take you to, to the Scorpion, but only if you give me your word that you will harm no one else. You have my word. May the stars forgive me for what I am about to do. I want to be a soldier when I... Uniform and everything. The steam machinery looks brand new. But what's it for? It doesn't look to be doing anything except make a lot of noise. What can steam technology do for you? The question you should be asking is what can it do? And the answer is nothing. The inn is closed.
Spice up your life! Best spices in Bakuna! I hear the Coruscant is negotiating. Zoe! Over here! Good afternoon, young lady. Crow here tells me you're a friend of April Ryan. I know her, yeah. I'm Zoe Castillo. Brian Westhouse. You and uh, April had a falling out? Of sorts. Look, I'm sorry, but Crow told me you might be able to help. I might? What is it you need my help with? To get home, I guess. To... Stark. I figured as much. I'm afraid I can't help you with that, Miss Castillo, but I know someone who might. Who? Her name is the White Dragon, and from what I understand, Crow, you know where to find her. I do! I can be of assistance! Yes! Dragon? Like in big, flying, fire-breathing lizard? More like skinny, pretty, with legs to kill for? I don't think she breathes fire, although she can get pretty fired up, if you know what I mean. Anyone? Anyone? Sheesh. So where is she, this, um, this dragon person? In a library. It's where all the hot chicks go, apparently. She's in a place called the Dark People City. If you know how to find it, it moves around with the ocean's currents. But Crow's just been there, haven't you, Crow? Sure have. I spent several months there, learning the ancient art of sitting on my butt. Feathers. And you know how to get back? Sort of. Ish. I know the general direction. I remember the winds. They smelled like cinnamon and rose tea, wrapped in a fragrant bouquet of fresh bull mule excrement. But I can't point it out on a map, because maps just look like a confused monkey scribblings to me. And I won't be able to lead a boat there. The waves make me all sick and disoriented. We won't have to take a boat. We'll fly. Uh-huh. I'll just wait here while the two of you grow some wings, shall I? Where we're going, Crow, we won't be needing wings. I'm telling you, anything that flies without wings can't be trusted. It's against nature, and all that's holy. But hey, no feathers off my bones. If it comes crashing down, I'm not the one who'll be needing wings. Your friend, he'll just lend it to us. He owes me a favor. Besides, in PS, that would be the Northland's parcel service has just upgraded their airborne fleet. This baby was one of the first they leased from the Azadi seven years back, and even then, she was getting on. The new ones are faster, bigger, slicker, but she'll do just fine for our purposes. So you're coming with us? Coming with you? <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world, Miss Castillo. This is one adventure I'm definitely looking forward to. Besides, you'll need me to fly her for you. She takes some getting used to. I don't know. I still don't trust a bird without wings. I'm keeping my eyes on you, sister. One wrong move, and bam! You'll feel the wrath of my beak. How are we doing? Just fine. This ship's a real beauty. She basically flies herself. She just needs a tiny nudge now and again, but other than that... 
So, Mr. West's house? Call me Brian, please. Brian, when did you come to Arcadia? Oh, that was a long, long time ago. Too long. I traveled across the Divide in 33. 1933, that is. What? And you're how old, exactly? Oh, I may be getting on, but I'm not that old. No, I got unstuck from time, and I was caught between worlds for a while. Not a pleasant experience by any measure of things, but I got out, and I made a life for myself in Mercuria. I'm never going back to Stark, and I'm fine with that. I've made peace with my past. Arcadia is my home now. Where in Stark did you come from? Boston, USA. Back when there was a USA. Hell, <laughs> back when there was a Boston. They're still there, both of them. How did you end up here? Are you a shifter? Most certainly not. I mean, if I was, I would probably have gone back at some point. No, I made my way through the Divide by more unconventional means. I'm not that old, mind you. Something happened that got me unstuck from time. It wasn't the best idea I ever had, but still, here I am in good health, and with all my limbs intact, I, I shouldn't complain. Have you seen a lot of this world? I'd say so. When Mercuria was invaded by the Tyrant Hordes ten years ago, I was forced to leave the city. I first traveled east across the Northlands to a place called Irhad, the Sun Empire, and then south across the Great Ocean to the continent called the Southlands. After that, well, there's not much left in this world that I haven't seen. I've even been to the Azadi Empire. But I have to say that I like the Northlands and Mercuria best of all. I, it feels like home. Where did the Azadi come from? Far west. Almost ten days' journey by boat. In their airships, however, or cloud ships, it doesn't take many days to cross the ocean. You've visited their continent? I've passed through it, so to speak. Their capital, Sadir, is just amazing. It's built across a huge river delta where six rivers meet. It's a holy place. They let you just wander freely through their city? I passed as a traveler in their lands. It's not closed to outsiders, and as long as you respect the Azadi and their customs, they give you passage. It's such a different culture from what we're used to, but they're an interesting people, and I found my visit to be highly educational. What they're doing in Mercuria, though, it's certainly controversial. On one hand, they brought freedom and peace. On the other hand, they've rounded up the magicals stuck them in a ghetto, and God knows what they intend to do with them next. What are the Tyran? They were a barbaric people who lived on the Western Plains. Ten years ago, they invaded Mercuria. Were? The Azadi killed them all when they liberated the city. If there are any left, they're few and scattered. The Tyran took the city during a time of great upheaval, but they didn't hold it long. The Azadi arrived in their ships soon after and drove them out. It's almost frightening how quickly the Tyran were wiped out. The Azadi showed no mercy. When do we get to the Dark People City? From what our feathered friend said, it'll be another day or so. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just feeling a bit restless. Well, there's not much to do here. You can... Look around the cabin for a bit, talk to Crow, or take a nap back in the hold. There's a bed there. Thanks. Maybe I will. Crow looks a bit worse for wear.